We are live. Five, four, three. Yeah. Welcome everybody to the more garbage podcast. to the more garbage podcast. Uh, we are coming uh, to you live. We are coming to you live once again from and, two uh, countries four and uh, four world. regions around the world. It's your boy Jojo, right? It's your boy Jojo, right? Jojo, right here in uh, Austria, out in New York. We got my man Vandal. We got uh, Count Tracula himself. T dot R dot dot A dot dot C C dot. And then, and then in, Queens, in Queens, we got we got our special, our special guest, guest Mr. Mr. Hector, Hector Mama Wana, Mama Wana with, us. with us. What's up? What's up, Hector? How you feeling? Good, good, good. good more man. Garbage I feel podcast. amazing. I feel, I feel I'm, I'm famous, famous now. now. You are now on the Garbage, garbage Podcast worldwide, worldwide fam. fam. Oh, so you, so you, so you over there in the belly of the beast, man. You're out, you're out there in Queens, Queens like, like you're in the in the, in the epicenter, epicenter of the epicenter, of the epicenter so, to speak, so to speak, man. man. How, how, you, how are you dealing, dealing with that out there? Oh, you know, we got certain protocols coming in and out of the house. Um, but you know, just you know, maintaining. Just maintaining. Um, I'm, I'm having fun with the, uh, the, the whole DJ streams, streams group. That 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 blew into its own like, own, like community. Yeah, community. yeah we gotta get kick it about that, that brother. Um, um, I'm out here doing my own little streams. streams you know, you know some, people some people can recognize the two flags, flags in the corner like that. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I see you doing your thing over there. I'll be checking out them DJ streams. Yeah. Also got them archived on my YouTube. It's everything's a hack the mama wanted. Just look for that. that. I, hear I hear you. You, you know, the fellas say, say you're, you're, you're big, big on the uh, on, uh, on uh, pushing, pushing of your your, of your, your, brand, your brand and everything. And everything. So, so you want to let, let the people know what you're all about. about. We know, we know it, it, but maybe, maybe the people, people that are listening to us don't know it. So why don't you let the people know what you're all about? What you doing and. What you what you, what you what into? into the kind of I don't think of anybody, anybody, but I think I'm pretty <laughs> good at <laughs> being me. So that's what it is. <laughs> that's the that's secret, secret ingredient, bro. bro. And, uh, uh, you know, you know uh, right on the belt says, says Dominican, Dominican dub plate specialist. specialist. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. say I'm a champion. It doesn't say I'm better than anyone else. else. It, it just means I'm pretty good at what I do. There you go. There you go, fam. There you go. You gotta have that confidence in the game. And, and if, and and if I may, for a quick second, man, like, you know, you know I kind of watched this dude pretty much, pretty much come, come up over maybe, over maybe a, long, a damn long damn time. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And, and I would say within the last couple of years, years single handedly done, done, done some of the most specialist, specialist special things, special things that, uh, that New York has been missing, missing in a very in big, a very big way. way. So to even see. All these growths go on to see, see all you know, see all the cosmic with, with, with all the dub play records. It's to see him see rocking, rocking out, out and touring and, and, and doing his own gigs, and, you know, and and, 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 and not compromising, you know what I'm saying? And 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 also, and also just, just giving it to him. I gotta say, not scared like, to experiment, scared not scared to, to make, make a few, few flubs, flubs and just make up for later. later, just go just out, go out and, give and give them what they need, what they need. And, and do it, do it the way, the, the best, way, way, best he way he know. And I think, and I think that's proper New York, New York. and that's been and missing that's for so long. So I gotta, I gotta get my, I gotta get my man, this right here, right here, just because I know we salute you over here at the Morgan Podcast. Well, you know, you know, and how. How long, how long, you, how long you know? How long you been, long doing, you been doing, your thing? doing your thing? Um, my, my first gig uh, anniversary, anniversary is actually coming up in the uh, middle of May for twenty years. Twenty years. Uh, yeah. Speed you originated from, from the uh, from, from the hardcore scene, scene right? right? Is that my yeah. 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 My first, my first set was actually a, a speed course set. set. Like, like I was put, uh, like playing like Disciples of Annihilation, like uh, oh jeez, like, uh, oh, all that industrial strength. Yeah. 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 Shout out to my brother. Shout out to my man Lenny D, man. Because you know Lenny D is from my area of Brooklyn. He's from Sheepshead Bay. I actually know him from years ago in the early nineties. So shout out to shout out to Industrial Strength Industrial Strength Crew, Lenny and Jen. Lenny and Jen, crazy they were, folks. They were some crazy folks. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, uh, what 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 led you what led you over to, to like, like, you know, I guess, I guess the jungle, jungle scene and, and things, things of that, of that nature. nature? You know what I mean? Like, like what, what led you know, you know being, being in that, in that scene, scene for a minute, minute 
and then heading and over, over to, to what was going, going on in the other part of the electric, electric underground. underground. What what, what uh what kind of brought you over, over to that to side? side? Uh, one, one of my, my homies was, was uh, uh playing a lot, a lot of, of Congo Daddy, and uh, wow. one day in the record store, like they just had like a really it wasn't, it wasn't exactly, exactly my, my favorite, favorite type, type of stuff, stuff to play. Mm-hmm. So, so I just, I just went, went over and just, just, let me go check out the jungle, jungle stuff. stuff. And, and Congo Natty had just repressed all of this old stuff. stuff. This was like around, around 2000, 2001. 2001. Right. right. And, and, and I, just I just fell in love with that, that whole scene, scene, you know. So, so even like my my latest mixtape, Novella de Juana, like that's like an ode to that, you know. It's like... I see, I see the Jamaicans, Jamaicans like, like representing represent their, their culture, culture, you know. You know I, want I want to do, do the same thing with uh, Spanish, Spanish culture, culture, you know. Right. Say, say, hey, we're, we're here, here too. too. You know what I mean? I hear you. I hear you. And, and so, so you say, say, when, you say, 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 when, you say when you say when you say Spanish, Spanish culture, it's not actually Spanish, Spanish culture. It's more a Latino culture, isn't it? Right. You're Dominican, right? Not actually from Spain. Nah. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. If, if you break, break it down, down like, like uh, my, my brother, brother went ahead and did that DNA thing. thing. Uh, oh, where did, 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 uh, did uh, what, what, what are those tests called again? Uh, uh, the the, the, the uh, myancestry.com. My it's my DNA.com. It's my DNA. DNA. <laughs> <laughs> it's my DNA. <laughs> so, what did you find? So what dry result. Dry result. Test. Drop it. Drop it. So there was, so there was a large, large predominant, predominant uh, uh, grouping, grouping of, of uh, uh, like, like European, European ancestry. ancestry. Okay, okay. So you so are a Spaniard. Well, well, definitely, uh, uh, definitely. Uh, no, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. Good. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, we, ain't, we ain't going. We ain't, we ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> no, shout out to Spain and all my Spanish crew. They got me wrong. I love y'all too. I love y'all too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Represent, represent, Dominican, represent. Dominican, bro. Dominican. Dominican. Yeah. Kiskeya. Yeah. Kiskeya. Shout out to Papa Juana Papa as well, man. Papa Juana well, has, has also been very, very supportive very of his son and seeing a lot of him. He comes out to his parties and hangs out with us like anybody else. So, you know, there's Papa Bob going on with the whole Juana sector of the world, bro. I salute that because I, for one, and my boys know this. My mother has been known to come out to a couple of parties you know, right. too, so dropped like, in you know, on a couple of parties, dropped you know, in on here a and there, and, I, and you know, I'm here. I'm there. glad that she you know, she supports me that she's, she when I when I go out and play. When I you like having your fans play. around when you, you play, like right? Obviously, yeah. around when you yeah. play, yeah. right? Yeah. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. it was uh, definitely was, like uh, one of my prouder moments having my dad, my and brother, you know, my sister, you know, with the whole dance parade thing that we did yeah, last we year. So, yeah, that. we haven't so, even touched that yet, my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm your friendly yeah, neighborhood. Yeah, I'm your neighborhood friendly side. neighborhood. Yeah, so, you know, like, when we say, yeah, so, you know, like, when we we say that fire, you went and lit a fire, on a lot of old customers, we're talking about, like, we're talking about like last year, having a drum and bass parade, having a drum and bass down parade float down Broadway oh, on a special oh, summer, on a special Saturday, summer with Saturday with mad people Dara watching. Was Dara the grand marshal, was the grand marshal. And I was the MC. It was I was the MC. The it was one of probably days, one of the most favorite in days ages, in ages uh, in New York City. Uh, just in New York City, just for that, just off of that, right here. And this, you know what I'm saying? So. You know, you know, like, yeah, yeah. I don't. How, how did that even come, come up? up? How did it how did even come up to want, want to throw, to throw a, a, parade a parade in New York, in New York City, City, like, like be, part be part of the parade, of the, parade, of the, parade, of the, dance, the parade. dance parade? Uh, it was actually, was actually uh, a shout, shout out to Brian Archery. Oh, he oh shoot. Was from, uh, yeah, Arrow yeah, MC. Yeah, he's been working with that organization for a minute. He just just hit me, hit me. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, his son just, just told me, he's like, you know what, I'm going to go for the gusto. gusto. I, don't I don't care how, 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 how it's going to work out, but it's going to work out. I don't know. Let me just do this. And, yeah, that, you know, wind up doing it, finding the finances for it, getting the whole system ready. Like, it was all worth it. I was ready to do it again this year, but, you know, things change. But, yeah. uh, I, keep I keep it with DJ streams. What can, can I, say? I say? You know, you know I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't stop, stop for, for uh, whatever situation. Whatever I situation, I just start. 
Yeah, yeah man. man. Um, um, yeah, yeah, bro. But, but I just wanted, wanted to say, to say like, like, as soon as, soon as you, you get, get to like, like 14th, 14th Street, Street and you see the fly, and you see the flow, and it says drum and bass is love, and you see people ready to go. Just a quick technical pause. Yeah. What's up? I hate, I hate to interrupt, to interrupt you. you. Just, just a quick, quick technical, technical pause. We're getting uh, we're getting double echoes. We're getting double echoes. Oh, not over this part. You heard that? We good. Are uh, we good? Yeah. So you know, just to elaborate a little bit more on the whole parade thing, like you go, you walk in, you see it's early, you, you're prepping. And as soon as you see the flow, you realize that, nah, this ain't no game. It's, it's really about to happen. This is about some real New York business. And you know you're around, you know, Dara, you know, gold shouts to Golden Child, who are you okay, going to try to have on here sometime? you can continue on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And uh, shouts to uh, uh, who else was on that flow? Man? It was a couple people. BP Square was cool. Oh, yeah, Val D. Um, from... I was worth uh, seriously. Yeah. We all want to just the jungle skanking brought their sound system to put on the float. We... You know what I mean? So that was crazy. Our on the on the drums, you know, it was, it, it was just pure vibes, the brow vibes, and um, and, no, and man. Too, yeah, we we was coming down, and you could start seeing like uh, the cube where they got that grandstand. And Daro was about to hand off the decks to me. I like, nah, bro, you the grand marshal. This keep going until we pass this. And we started flying junglers. So we had the whole floats singing, I'm a ballistic man. Why that was you amazing. Yo, that was just beautiful. It just the whole float sharing around. And then I got to get back on the decks and start playing like some of my like Spanish uh, mashups that I'm doing, yep. like back in my old hood, you know what I mean? So it's just like it, it had it held so many emotions for me, you know, to be bringing it back to where I started off from in this mashup type of way, you know what I mean? Nice. Uh, uh, shout out here of New York, though, man. You all uh, made it, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know what? You know that like there's people that are that are definitely picking up the torch for the drum and bass thing, and uh, you know, obviously, it, it, you don't got to be told this. You got experience within the scene, but the drum and bass is a small, tight community, community. Yep. in New York City, right? And there's yes. only a few people yeah. that are carrying the torch, right? Big shout out to all the earlier people. That uh, you know, we're doing their thing before us, right? And like, well, maybe not before if it us. But then I would have <laughs> a choice. Oh, so you guys are you guys are really holding it down for, for a scene of music. That. Like, for, you know, in the they, you know like. That are really putting their heart and soul into bringing this music to people, right? Yes, sir. One of them, one of them who's been around just just as long. And we were talking about trying to get him on the show with Sal, you know, and having yeah. him on here, you know. Yeah, yeah man. Sal's a Sal. Sal's a Sal as well. Yeah. So, uh, Mama Juan, a real uh, another question for you is, what got you into dub play culture? Because you know that's like a whole different culture within the culture. Sometimes, how you know, uh, so many people reach out for these incredible original pieces of cop. Like they're like, I don't know how to say it. Like they're they're something, but they're made specially for the DJ set and the sound clash. And you know, as far as New York is concerned, you have a lot of nuclear bombs. Cheers and, to you. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. That uh, that I know that when you go out and you play them, people react, and you know what I'm saying. So, what got you mostly into like? Not just drum and bass, but the dub play culture of drum and bass. Um, this was, was around the time I uh, actually got my name, Amawana, when I was uh, going to uh, Halcyon, the record store down in Pearl Street, Halcyon. Brooklyn. Yeah. New okay, York. shout out to Lined Halcyon. Up was, uh, was working uh, Thursday nights. Yep. Yeah, the radio show. You know, 
So I started going to the radio show around that time. I'm a DJ. Well, everybody was bringing beer on BYOB night. I started bringing that. <laughs> so as a... Uh, I got to admit, I didn't even know that was a, you know, that was a drink. Like, I did not know that was a drink at all. That's crazy. <laughs> Joe ain't know that. I'm just that's, uncultured. That's this is, baby. <laughs> no for the people who need to know mom hector if you don't mind explain mama Juana itself yeah so please mama, mama Juana is a dominican roots drink yep. um it is generally uh culturally it's with with uh, red wine i like to do just rum and honey um but this is a you put this liquor in uh, with these herbs and spices that, uh, you know, every town has their own different recipe, but it's supposed okay. to be good for your vitality. It's yes. supposed to be good for your blood circulation. It's, uh, you know, it's oh, supposed shit. to be a cure-all. It's a, so it's that's a cure-all like, for uh, sobriety. That's like that's like Dominican, Dominican Viagra in a bottle? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Spanish fly. <laughs> Spanish, well, the real Spanish the, 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 the Dominican Viagra is the 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 mama Juana with the uh, the seafood in it, where you see oh, like octopus like God. arms and shit. I actually got a bottle upstairs. Oh, it smells fishy, but that liquor is so smooth because everybody's so scared to uh, touch it. It continues to age. Mm, so yeah. when you're done with this bottle, you fill it up full of more rum and honey, and you just let it sit there. And the longer it sits there, the smoother it becomes. Shit, I sound sound like I got a drink with you. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, we want to send a big shout out to all the people that are jumping in. We got a lot of live action up here in the Facebook uh, More Garbage uh, page. Reed, what's up? Shout out to Lieutenant Reed Elliott for listening to uh, the sound and letting us know if it's echoing or not. We encourage each and every one of you that's in there, and if you're going to be listening to us, not only just listen, but take part in the conversation. Jump in the conversation in the comment section and, uh, you know, let us know what you feel. Talk about about a little something we hear with our guest Hector Mamawana. Yes, sir. Also, give us a share, yo. Let everybody know what's going on. Yeah, don't forget to like and share the podcast. We're trying to make it grow. It's for absolutely free because uh, we haven't started begging yet, yet but we will eventually. <laughs> this COVID, but 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 don't believe me. No, believe me. Actually, believe me when we do. There'll be something that we're going to give back. We're always going to give back to you. Uh, all the time. Anyway, brother. back to the podcast. Our guest, Hector Mama Wanna, doing his thing, ch- uh, changed over. Apparently, I'm learning a lot about you, too, because you know what? These guys have spoken highly about you in the previous podcast and stuff like that. So we figured we oh, needed to have you on the show. Oh, yes, yeah. Sir. He said that you got your promo savvy about you, bro. You yeah, know. man. Uh, you know, you like not only uh, the banner, but you wave in the banner wherever you go. So, uh, yeah, how do you man. feel about that? Do you feel like you know people may may misread that because when we were when we were younger, we used to be kind of loud ourselves in, in yeah. a way. But <laughs> do you, do you feel so, that people may take that the wrong way, or people welcome to take it whatever way they want to? I love that answer. <laughs> I personally love that answer. <laughs> you know? I mean, like, uh, you know, you at least in the States, you have every right to be wrong. True. And every right to be right. Exactly. So, you know, uh, I can't exactly worry about the next person and what they think about me, because no matter what I do, you know, I could have done it better. So. I know personally I'm doing my damn best to, you know, be there for my community, be there for my sound and be able to do my thing, you know, and spread this love that I like to call drum and bass and shit. You know, it's just, you, Absolutely. Hey, if you don't like it, that's, that's your problem, bro. That's not a me problem. Shout out, <laughs> shout out goes out to Astro. Who's up oh, there. Astro. What's up, baby? Shout out, shout out to Jesse Gladstone. Up no request in the, in the building. Yes. I actually no, got a dub play from DJ Astro. 
Mm. You know, uh, he did it. He did a uh, a remix of IQ's Deja Vu Jungle Ooh. Track. What? So to, to to finish up your your question, the yeah. way I got into dub plate culture, it was um, after I got my name Mama Wanna from the the record store. I gave uh, Lion Dub a bottle of uh, what I like to call Lion Juana, which was um, over uh, Ray and Nephew. It was Bacardi 151 and Manischewitz Red Wine. Oh. So Johnny Osborne is doing dub plates <laughs> in Lion Dub Studio. And then he hands him this bottle and he takes a couple of shots. He was like, yo, I get a gallon of this thing. I'll give this man a dub plate. And he charges like 350 So I was like, fuck yeah. You know, I filled up those big ass wine jug full of like Mama Juana sticks. And I gave the man a, a bottle, a big ass bottle of uh, that line this, of wine. This my... here is a mama wanna stick. No, oh, that's a marijuana <laughs> stick. That's a marijuana stick. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. So, marijuana this is, is marijuana. Illegal. This is this cigarette. Is, <laughs> yes. This, this is also tobacco. Don't don't yeah. mind the leaf uh, on, on on the thing, but. <laughs> the More Garbage <laughs> podcast does not encourage the use of alcohol or drugs in any or way, shape, or form. Yes, more. we do. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do not. <laughs> Yo, big shout out goes out to Russell Sleepy Maynard. Uh, Sleep, what's up, Sleep? Seattle, we're going to check in with you. We're going to have you on the podcast. You got to get him on this mofo. He had right? me as a guest on his radio show, so I got I to gotta give him love. For uh, always showing uh, me and the DK fam some love, so uh, big shout outs to you, man. Awesome. Yo, so uh, Hector, awesome. man, what started DJ Streams, which is the hottest thing right now in New York? You know what started? Uh, that's that's you. That's your that's your page. That's his page. Yeah, I didn't know that. Like he got written up about it and everything. Yeah, me and my people. Me and my people. Me and my peoples put our stuff on there too. And I didn't even know it was yours. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, that was uh, that was my shout out to my homie uh, Christelle. Christelle uh, Frenchy. Yeah, one of her friends uh, was like saying, "Hey, we kind of needed a group that you know just to get things together because I'm missing all of these DJ streams." And my girl Christelle is like a huge fan of all of the things that I was doing before. Like, I was actually just rocking it off my phone for a bit, you know, before I kind of morphed into, like, getting into the whole stuff. And hopefully the, the statute of limitations run out, but I started making this thing while I was driving home. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I picked my uh, a picture of my homegirl, uh, Miss Magoo from Scotland. Shout outs to Miss Magoo. Miss and just kind of just started blowing up like there's even people that i blocked that are on my uh on that group <laughs> of, i know they did but as long as they don't front you can keep listening to music i mean like track knows i personally have a well, well we'll just call it a tremendous block list yes it will crash my <laughs> I phone got one of those. Try, yeah so, uh, but on the whole DJ streams thing, I've only uh, blocked one person. I only wielded the band hammer once. And that's mm -hmm. because the guy <laughs> just became pushy. He was like, oh, you're not doing enough charity things. I'm like, this is for everybody. If you do charity, you're welcome. If you don't do charity, you're welcome. There's no time slots. You're welcome. It right. doesn't matter what genre you play. You're welcome. Just don't be an asshole. And, you yeah, know, exactly. it's like. Exactly. I'm going to do two charities in, in a week, one for the U.S., one for the U.K. Why, why are you trying to get on my case, bro? It's like, if you don't like it, <laughs> it's a Facebook group. And, don't go, and, go make your own. And <laughs> why are you having a pissing contest about charities? Just do it. Exactly. Right? Oh, why not oh, come to the guy? Yeah. Why, don't, yeah. why don't you invite me on one of these charities? Right, or be like, yo, Hector, go check this it. out. I'm trying to raise some charity. Yeah. I'd love for DJ Streams to be involved. All right, let's get up on it. One, two, three, I'm, and there you have it. I'm, I'm here to spread the love. I'm not making a dime off of this. You know, I'm good. It's just like, you know, I got my, my stimulus. I got my unemployment. Mm -hmm. I'm able to help off people, you know, like behind the scenes and shit, you know? Yeah, so, man. like, 
you well, you're gonna gonna start screaming at me about charities? Like, nah, bro. Well, not only that, like the people that the people that are charitable, they don't. Uh, the vast majority of them don't talk about it. They don't wait for photo ops or anything else. They do it because other people are gonna talk about it anyway. You don't yeah. need to talk talk about the the. You know the guys that that talk about how much they've they've done for everybody else are usually the guys that haven't done very much at all, right? You know, and uh, your your body of work will speak for itself, right? Don't let don't let any of these people. You know, if you're a hater out there, man, shut <laughs> the fuck <laughs> up. Go over in the corner. Sit your ass down and shut the fuck up and hate with the other people in the corner on the block list. <laughs> but, see, I like to call these people angry fans. Angry mm. fans. Oh, tell us. Because, please tell us about particular angry fans. Because a person that I don't, I don't like, I don't talk about. But if you're going to sit there and start dedicating all of this energy towards me, Negative, you know what I mean? You still dedicating energy towards me. You a fan of mine. <laughs> if you following my things just to talk shit on the things I'm doing, you a fan of mine. You just happen to be an angry one. But guess what? You still give me the numbers. I still got your view count. Holla at your boy. Be angry. <laughs> All your friends are looking at you like, why are you such an asshole? This is Mama Wanda. He got your back. Like and, I tell people, and, I'm a great friend. I'm a better enemy, though. <laughs> and if they don't know you, right? The people that that let's say there's people that are following the hater. If they're spending their time saying, "Oh, I hate this dude. I hate this dude." Guess what they're doing? They're promoting they a fan club for me. Yep, they're, they're just you. an angry fan fan club. They just don't know it. No, but they might go, you know what? Let me see if this guy really is an asshole. Yeah. Right? I don't and then know. they might find for themselves, like, what's wrong with him? You know? So I mean, when all your friends, when you start talking back about me and all your friends start saying, what's wrong with you? This guy is like, has everybody's back. That's why I don't even got to talk too much. I mean, like, well, I had that incident where I had to flag somebody out because he disrespected my mother, but... Yeah. Oh, you're going to get... You get the boots for that. You get that. You, you get that. I, <laughs> I don't care where you are, right? You know, there was... There was one cat that tried... There, there was one cat that tried that, if I will. If I, I just want to interrupt with this little mm. story. Also, uh, I know who he is because... Uh, you know, hmm. well, we're uncensored, right? So, you know what? He told me after my pops had passed away, he told me he was glad there was one, one, uh, one less nigger on the planet. Oh, you're going to have to give me this name after. Oh, oh no. I already don't worry. Don't don't worry. To Austria, telling Joe, whatever it is, it is. Oh, whatever yes. You yes. Do, yes. Let's do. Don't I, worry. Don't worry. Yes. Your boy took... Your boy took Part, the partial high road. I took his whole conversation, screenshot, put it on blast. I said, this is the guy that's in our scene, right? And big shout outs to everybody in this particular scene because the next time this guy tried to walk into a club, they were like, nah, man. We don't, yeah. we don't rock with you. We don't this rock not, with you. This is not how we ride, bro. It's not That's how we ride. That's exactly the and, reason and, why I ride so hard for my community because the community is just like that. Yeah, and, exactly. Well, that's what big shout out to the drum and bass community out here because you know what? They were like, you know what? We don't rock with racists like that. It ain't cool. It ain't cool, you know? bro. It ain't and cool. I remember at all. being mad, you know, not, not to cut you off, Joe, but I remember being like, you know what, man? Anybody that's brazen to say some shit like that, part of me, on, me. I don't want Facebook to cut us off with too many experts, but I'm just going to say, Come on, man. yo, I was like, you know what, Joe, man? Whatever you want to do, whatever it is, if there's a I, way, I, I'm here for a long bit. You know, Let's figure you know it me out. In my, you know me and my <laughs> job. You, look, look, we're all from the same cloth. 
right? Yep. Mm-hmm. If if I were 19, it would have been a day of bad judgment, let's just yeah, say. That's the truth. Right? You know, at my age right now, you know what? I I I put it out there and all the right people they did all the right things. He is now closed off from the thing that he f- loved doing. Yeah. Right? And and that by the community, right? And that and that wasn't a move of hate against him. That was a move of love for everyone else, right? Truth. Like, you know what I mean? People that don't subscribe to that to that school of thought. To that level of right. Love. And you know what I mean? Like, look, every dog has his day. And you know I mean I mean Hector, you seen me come up for a minute and you seen the many insides and outside battles that I went through. You know what I'm saying? I played from you from 2013. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So My first like I was seven years old with you, bro. Yeah, we've been yeah, we've been around for a long time. I think I was there when I met you was at Halcyon actually too as well. But Probably like we was. Yo, it's always going to be a challenge or a test to challenge along your travels. Um, the more better you stay focused, of course, the better things will turn out. I, I was lucky to also have good people in my corner to stop me from going into places that probably would have been detrimental to me. So yes. I can only send that energy to you to let you know when you're doing something good and you got haters, of course, you know what I mean? Then well, look- just keep on doing it. You know what that reminds me. Let's let's get into the let's get into this subject, right? Like, you know what? With a lot of a, a lot of us being involved in entertainment, right? Uh and 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 the status that they put us in when we when we're behind the decks or performing or what have you. Do you feel like you feel like this kind of, you know, do you feel like that when, whenever you're behind the decks, that kind of thing doesn't exist. But when you're, when you're not playing or you're not performing, it comes right back out. Right. The whole racism thing. Like, yeah. Like, you I know? mean, it does. It does. Um, I mean, there's been places where like they wouldn't let me in at the door because I didn't look a certain way. But then the promoter's like, hey, he's on the lineup. Uh, <laughs> I've had that listen I've had like I walk up to a party of walk playing at the tunnel walk up to the tunnel yo it's a private party oh really well who's playing because I'm not in there <laughs> yeah you know I'll even go like same situation as in the middle of somewhere and they introduce you to a girl and the girl does the ugly face on you simply because of what you look like and I was like oh really so oh I, yes, sir. Now she wishes she didn't did that because now everybody wants to be cool with your boy. But whatever, that's that's yeah. more potatoes. The 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 thing that when you guys were talking about what what did I feel? I wasn't allowed to park right next to it because the cops wouldn't let me in. Wow. To my my name was was on this drumming place for uh, on a drumming bass float. It was, I paid for the, you know, the thing, you know, I went half with me and my made pops. made it happen. That's why. I made it happen. They, I mean, my sound guys, who uh, yep. just happened to be a little bit lighter than me, will just, they were able to park their white <laughs> van right behind the thing. But the guy whose name, hey, mom, everything, Mama Juana, isn't allowed to be right next to the mom want to float that that see that that's the thing that doesn't make any sense you know at this point in time right we're not we're not in the 40s anymore you know you were not in the 50s i mean the the positive way of seeing it is that this whole way of training is just like nothing is going to stop me from what I'm doing. I'm used to somebody trying to. I'm I used to somebody trying to call the shots from behind the scenes saying, hey, he can't play. I'm used to somebody saying, you know, I don't want to see this guy in this uh, venue, you know? But you just your thing, you just become yep. bigger than your gatekeeper. And after a That's while, right. 
they can't even say no because it becomes a liability on them. Right. Right. But, uh, you know, and, and you, you know, the thicker your skin, the better, the better off you are, even though it's like, you know, who wants to say you have to bounce off negativity like that? Who wants to go to be put through a trial like that? But it is what it is. It's life and reality is what reality. And, you know, you earn I mean, respect. Even from your haters, you earn respect in the end, which is I, the craziest I, part. Yeah, I've That's had true. somebody who literally uh, gave me a dirty knee to the face want to shake my hand because of what I'm doing. Mm. What? Like, I, I still want to find you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not naming names. Yeah, Track yeah, yeah. knows. He was in Europe when he heard Yeah, that as a matter of fact, story. when he was going through, when Joe was going through his now thing, you were know. going through your thing. And I remember I was on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you know, like uh, you know what the yeah. the hater the haterism shouldn't be anything within, especially especially within our scene, right? Like you know what when I it shouldn't when I realized how many of us were some people want to see you do good, but I don't know, but you know I'm I'm here for like my younger cats. I'm here for my old school cats. I'm here with the cats who came up with me. And for the ones that just want to discover yeah. the music, right? And just have the I same mean, amount of fun yeah. that we've all had. You Whether know? you've been in this thing for 20 years or you've been here for 20 minutes, I'm down. I don't care. Yeah, you exactly. Know what I, mean? it's just like, I will say, though, I will say the one thing about that negativity, it's never really a bunch of people. It's usually just one person at a time. That's right. That's right. You know, it's never like, oh, these gang of... You know, if it's a gang of people, you might be interested to be like, yo, why are you guys mad at me? But if it's just like the same constant thing and nothing's changing, then you're wasting your time if you're trying to impress some people who pretty much don't even have your best interest in hand. You know what I mean? So your best bet is to just be like, all right, well, I tried to make you guys happy. We out. I'm going to keep it moving. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's it. You know what I mean? and uh, I, mean, like, uh, I, I had a, a customer of mine once what say to me um I'm gonna say it in spanish and in english because the rhymes better in spanish no te por la tencias eh, preocuparse por la incompetencia which uh in english is don't worry about your competition worry about your own incompetence mm, right so right. i just keep working on me I happen to have enough people telling me that they like it. You know, I've had like on my worst days, I, I saved a relationship trying to figure out some tractor relate uh, setup. You know what I mean? So it was like I respect the game that I, I I've been doing. You know, it's like this music thing. I think it was actually Yo Yo Ma who brought it up the best. Uh, he calls it uh, Don't talk about songs my mama, of comfort. Man. I ain't Don't talking talk about, about your mama. mama. <laughs> <laughs> I think your mama's a wonderful lady, baby. <laughs> Last thing you're going to hear is a Latino talking bad about somebody's mama. Hell no. That's the truth. That's the absolute truth. I hear you. Man, you start talking bad about your moms, I'll start talking to you uh, angry, bro. You're like, yeah. <laughs> I start taking offense. It's like, People that's not even running. my moms. You can't even talk about nobody's moms in front of a Latino like that. Yo, you know, so, what? yo, same thing. In, same thing with black fans. Like, you know what? Mm-hmm. I've had, I've had some friends where they're like, "Mom, get the fuck out of my room," and I'm ready to crawl under their bed just out of reflex. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, like, yo, no, 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 hold up, lady, I got this. Yo, what the <laughs> fuck you just say to your moms? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm gonna have to hit you with. <laughs> the chancleta, bro. It's like, no, nah, oh, we don't, we don't fuck around with that shit. It's like, that's, nah, that's you don't, right you there. don't disrespect somebody's, you don't disrespect your mom's in front of me, bro. Chill. Yeah, yeah that's, I mean, that's, like, that's that dude who disrespect. No, but the you, mama, you know, I've seen it he before. Jazz into somebody, but it ain't gonna happen around me. 
you can't disrespect your moms. You could say you don't like her to her and leave it at that because you just start talking wild. Be like, Damn, yeah, it's probably your fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, really. <laughs> Don't 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 disrespect moms and definitely don't disrespect grandma at all. <laughs> you know, ah, those those are cutting words. Those are grandma, yeah, those grandma, are yeah. grandma, <laughs> grandma is grandma is sacred. You know, um, uh, those yeah. are five to ten year words, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, so long. So, so, you doing some job. producing? Are you doing some producing? I haven't started producing yet. What I've been doing is doing my own mashups, like okay. uh, my novella de, de Juana. I did okay. a uh, a novella is kind of like a soap opera, so I right. kind of did my own Spanish soap opera. Okay. Uh, with uh, musica urbana and reggaeton over deep liquid or drum and bass, and I was able to tell my love life in the last couple years, you know, within that story. You know, it was, it was a beautiful thing. So I'm learning a lot. I, I feel okay. like uh, I'm learning a lot about ver uh, vocal placement and all of okay. that during that. Um, but okay. I, I definitely got to start doing my own production. So, you, so, so uh, you're going to start dabbling, dabbling a lot I'm, more into the production side, right? And uh, mm -hmm. event wise, event wise, you doing you still doing some uh, you still got some events that are, well, obviously not now. With the COVID yeah, thing, duh. but did you have Wait, did you have some listen. things on deck? Did you have some I, things I on had, deck? Yeah, I had some things on deck, but even with the COVID thing, I'm doing um, Lipstick City. Uh, so I rock out until Facebook kicks me off. I've been doing a couple of even UK streams, so okay. technically. I I've been busier than I've ever been. <laughs> That's how it works. Right. Bro. So I'm just only on Mondays. It's like, so yeah, I can't play this physical gig that I was supposed to get, but yep. now I'm doing all of these virtual gigs and people are still connecting to that. And That's I'm right. also giving them a chance to connect after what? the fact. You know what? That leads me to so, another question. That leads like, me to another to question. Do you like do you like virtual gigging? Do you really like do you like the virtual gigs? Because I I really love getting down here with my gear, turning my stuff mm -hmm. on, and just putting it out to everybody and anybody who could possibly listen. So like for me, yeah. I kind of I kind of love it, especially this platform. I talk to guys like y'all. So. What um, I mean, I'm uh, talking, but that's because the mic that I have here isn't exactly the best. Uh, but like I said, I had, you know, in storage for a little bit, throwing it all on, you know, this is the one that you see over is like a, a light from a 99 cent store, you know. Uh, I just keep piecing this together and this is just to like keep our sanity going, you know. A lot of people just enjoying that. They can't exactly go out, but they feel a, a sense of normalcy if they get to hear like one of their favorite de uh, drum and bass DJs just doing their thing. So I'm on a lot. I'm on all the time. If somebody needs me to fill in, I'm there, you know. Sure, I'm not making money by playing these sets, but I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about my people's sanity, you know. It's not going to be till like maybe autumn of 2001 until we start being able to like be in a large event. So in the mean, I'm going to keep banging out new sets, you know, I think keep you, on I, doing more things. Hector, I think you meant 2021, not 2001. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I mean, you know, that would have been, I guess before your time. <laughs> We're about to go back. back in time. I don't know. I know. No, I yeah, feel you. I, I feel guess you that was that. a little bit too much. I'm a uh, too Speak much. Oh, that that's a play. Speaking <laughs> of which, sanity. I'm here for my people. Like, speaking of which, the more garbage podcast is not brought to you by the drink in my hand, 
But if you got a drink in your hand, this is the time to put it up and say cheers. There you go. Cheers, cheers to everybody out there that's listening to us. Make sure you, you take so part well. in the co- podcast. Shout outs to one of our co-hosts that couldn't be with us. Also in Seattle, Washington, Steve Beckford. Steve, Shout Steve out to Steve B. B. We salute you, brother. Steve B. So yo, Hector, man. Been one of the yeah, big homies for a while. No, that's about it. Yeah, now Hector, Hector is, yeah, like Steve B is the homie. He's part of the crew and uh, glad to have him on the team as he'll be uh, helping us out with a few future guests and helping us, you know, keep you, keeping people calm through this whole crazy moment, which is what I'm trying to get into right now with you. Oh, definitely. As far as like, yeah. you know, how has it been for you since this whole COVID, you know, family's good, people's is good. Is it just been in the house cooped up? Have you still been able to work? You know, let us know what's up. Um, I worked for about two weeks and then things started drying up. I mean, we also were working in conditions where um, some of our contractors weren't exactly following all the rules. There were too many people in there, some of them without oh, ask. I was like, used to this thing like I, i've been on my mask and all that other stuff you know like since they canceled the new york city world of german base like i just started taking it like very seriously like i bleach my car all the time everything coming in bleaching you know what i mean um i stripped down on my doorway i i i carry a, a bleach spray with me I'm putting in a, a filter in tomorrow. Uh, I mean, we got to be on point, but still doing my thing. I feel like, you know, I'm still sipping on my sip, you know, spinning my music, spreading out them good vibes, you know what I mean? Trying to spread them love by the baseline. Yeah. So you're not feeling it's just a, a sense different of- way of doing it. You're not feeling a sense of panic or any sense of, uh, you know, urgency to get back out there, right? I have the sense of panic that some uh, people want to get out there. So, me, everything I can to try to get people in the stay indoors, you know what I mean? Granted, yeah, you can go outside with your cell phone and listen to me uh, spin a set, but if I can, you know, get somebody watching my thing and make that joke where I say, wash your hands, you know what I mean? (laughs) Whatever, whatever I could do. Clean. I'm down to try to, you know, help out my people. My people's been there for me. I got to be there for them right now, you know what I mean? So, like, me... But it is in music. Me I too. Love this stuff. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you look like you cooped up with like about like fourteen dollars. You look like you got about a whole Springs collection probably in there, <laughs> knowing you, bro. So I know you're ready. The wine it won't be dry, running dry anytime soon. You know. Today's oh, no, no. Today's <laughs> artwork or tonight's artwork is being brought to you by. Our resident artist and uh, graph specialist, our man DJ Vandal, salute to you. Van the, the, piece, the piece that you're looking at on Facebook or on Twitch TV, if you're following us, is a piece that's being handmade as we speak by our man DJ Vandal, who's also the director of the More Garbage podcast and uh, scenes, one of yep. the uh, founders of the More Garbage podcast. And I definitely got to say, while I got people on here, that people that are listening, don't forget to like and share this podcast. Right? We want to grow it. We want to grow with you people. And we want you to take... We want to grow with you people. You know, we want (laughs) to... What do you mean, you people? But we want to grow with you, and we want you to to join us and take part in the conversation. And... uh, Make sure you uh, give a like to my man, uh, Vandal, on his motion graph page. Yo, Vandal, you want to talk? You're like over there being the strong silent type. What's going on over there? 
I think Vano disappeared for a quick he, second, man. Okay. He's trying to get his... Uh, trying I want to hear his, the... Uh, yes. What I want to hear from Vandal and guys. Hector is the uh, the the, uh, the social distance story you guys got. <laughs> oh, uh, y'all got a social distancing story? Yeah, yeah. I was working at a job. Um, so he's working at a job. I'm working at a job site. He comes through. He's like, yeah, I'm going to go see you. Da, 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 da. I'm like, all right, cool. Hook out. So me and my partner were just eating in our truck because you can't eat in any place. And uh, Vandal, he starts crossing the street. He's like, hey, hey. He's like, no, 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 no. Hold up. Hold up. Wait up. <laughs> he said, you're good right there. I put on. So I put on my latex gloves, and then I put on the the, the cloth and, and rubber gloves, and then I put on my N95 mask, and uh-huh. then I put on over like this face thing. So, so I got the hooded face thing, wash it then I open up the door and then I cross uh, you know stand right next to my and I tell him like just stay right across the street and we had a, a conversation oh I also had my goggles on because you gotta have the eye protection because <laughs> you and don't want no Rona in the eye right you don't want to get right in the eye you, fu- you know what I mean nah nah it's like yo I'm not I'm not, I'm not no, no chances out here nah 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 bro chill <laughs> It's like, uh, I got to be on point, you know. I'm with people who can't exactly be catching that. So I got to be double on point. You know what I mean? Like, if I was dolo I, alone, to, I could hold it down, whatever. At all times. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, Yo, but, I, you, you know, I know you joke, but to be honest, man, we don't know everybody's type. We don't know if they have pre-existing conditions. And the more they learn about this thing, the more they find out. That uh, you know, mm-hmm. if you not if you're if you have something in you, you could possibly catch it and have it worse than other people. So it's it's yeah. like those we better not right. take our space and our people. Don't take anything for granted. Be how safe you feel? anything. You know what I mean? That's right, track. And how you feel about it, like all this? Uh, you know, there's too much misinformation. I really don't give a shit about five oh, G bat poop. I really don't give a shit about Bill Gates, right? You know what? Every computer that you're complaining about Bill Gates and you're probably working on a Windows computer. <laughs> Moron. Moron. Right? Like, mm-hmm. complaining, you complaining about Facebook and Google and all these platforms, but you're on, on them. Facebook and right? Google, yeah. Do for those of you that are out there that are conspiracy theorists, do yourselves a favor, right? Get off of all these platforms. Throw your computer out of the way. You're bullshit at a time like this, right? Normally, we could laugh at you, pat you on the head. It's cool, but but you know what? How do you feel about the disinformation, Hector? Me. Um, in Big Wana, we have uh, two DJs and two drummers. Uh, the DJs is me and Big Ears, and the drummers are the, the Grab Brothers. And one of the Grab Brothers, uh, uh, Fred, he see levels. Like, he was working on Plum Island while we were doing road shows and whatnot. So, like, when that man tells me something... I believe him. So okay. when I see all of these, all of these uh, other uh, conspiracies, oh, it's the Chinese government who made this and this and that. I believe him when he says, "Yo, this thing just came up in the wild." It's easier for people to believe that it was some secret organization that came up with this virus when it was actually just nature. Yeah, but why is nature it doesn't give a fuck about you, bro? <laughs> yeah, but why is it easier for people to believe just something that they just crank up in their head or that they get from 
things that people decide to piece together and take all those pieces and make their own thing out of it, right? Like, I mean, do you ever wonder it's, why that is? It, 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 it's, it's a primal instinct. I mean, like, when you go back to, like, you know, like, one AD believes that it's a bad omen. That if you were born on a day that there was a, a lunar eclipse, then, you know, that was a bad omen or something like that. So because of these people don't understand the science, they just fill in the blank with whatever they have in their head and whatever is the easiest thing for them to believe. So the bad guy making this one virus that just happens to affect the entire planet kind of just doesn't make sense. The 5G, yeah. where there's like more more countries with COVID than there are 5Gs, like doesn't make sense. Thank you. Thank you. Some of that stuff doesn't make uh, all of the most of it. It's somebody monetizing on YouTube. Somebody trying to chow uh, clout. Chase, you know, I mean, a guy who's been doing like 18 hour days for like the last 12 years to become an actual doctor or a friend of mine who's an actual virologist who right. punches in and punches out by, di you know what I mean? So, like, when that man speaks, I listen. So, when I see all of these other things, I laugh. And if yeah. it's not serious, I'll let it go. But when it gets to the point where it starts harming other people, I'm going to speak up. I'm going to curse you out. Then I'm going to block you. I've, I, I, you know what? I've done that. And you know what? And sometimes there are people that I don't block because they should know better. And I know some of these people for a long time and they really should know better. Right. Um, what they choose to think is up to them. It's just like yes. having, imagine, imagine having a brother and you're like, you know what? That's my brother or that's, you know, or grandpa, right? Grandpa at the table might say some crazy shit, right? He might say some crazy shit like that's really out of line or that, but, but it's grandpa, right? Or that's my brother. He's a little bit, you know, but it's all right. It's, it's, it's cool. Right. But, you know, you shouldn't put people in danger. Like, you know, a, a virus that's spreading is very serious. And telling people right. that it's nothing. And, How about and this? To go out and ignore the ignore the rules. Right? What are you you're 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 really putting people in harm's way and you're somehow responsible for it too, because you mm. gotta remember it. There's levels of intelligence, right? And just because you're smarter than somebody else, you might tell somebody who's not as smart as you or maybe not thinking the right way. You're misleading them into a into a really bad situation. Go ahead, Trak. Yeah, I was going to say, how about this? Uh, and shout out to Vinyl Fatigue who stepped in the room. What up, Vinyl Shout Vinyl out Vinyl Fatigue. Yeah, man. And, uh, shout out we, Vinyl Fatigue. Yeah, out there working hard and strong in Island. So... I've actually seen a person go crazy maybe for like a month worth of like ill, nasty conspiracies only to turn around within the last day or two after he must have just woke up, says, well, I just wanted to test the Facebook algorithms to see how it would re re react to it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this is looking for a way out right now. It's too late, bro. Come on. Man. Uh, Open up. <laughs> track will testify to this I will hold you to what you say online and offline <laughs> saying, uh, Facebook you. you want to call it fake this is still you saying it don't tell me it's some ego or some my phone got this. hacked yeah or I'm, 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 just, I'm speaking I'm speaking my phone I'm got speaking hacked not. special yeah no, 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 because this is my alternate uh, Facebook. This doesn't mean, you know, 
I'm racist. I'm just going to say a whole bunch of racist things. No, nah, like, at that point, no, no, nah, nah, at that that's point. That's still you, bro. See, yep. And when I see you, that, that, you know, you never know. You never know, right? Like, look, it's all about diplomacy at first, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes you got to read people the memo, as I like to say. Right? Uh, man, I mean, you know, like you said, you, oh, that's your, your brother, that's your this, that's your that. My grandfather, I ain't really check him because I ain't want to give that dude a heart attack. But <laughs> one of my cousins, one of my homies for like 13, 14 years, don't think you can't catch a block either. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everything in my circle, I'm certified. I'm co-signing on all of this. <laughs> I hear you. you know what I mean? I hear you. So, like, I, I do the same thing on my thing. Like, if I see something like like one of your mans is saying some really foul thing and you don't check him. I'm, yeah, you, you check him for him. Block your ass. Too. I mean, <laughs> I, maybe, maybe, maybe a lot of fan base. Because I don't want these jerks be- you got to move to a better spot, Mama Wana. You, you're losing happy. your signal, homie. Your signal's going out a little you're bit, yeah, your man. signal a lot, homie. Um, you got to move to the better to, spot. I'm trying to give it, trying to give it a better to charge this thing a little bit. Oh, all right. Holly. Got my man freezing up right quick, bro. Are you, you in tune to the morgue? Well, maybe we can... Uh, all y'all people that are tuned in with us. We got my man T dot R dot A dot C dot <laughs> hanging out with us out in Florida. Our special guest, Hector Mamawana, who's out there in the queue in Queens. And our man from Queens. Back, yeah. yeah, yeah, you back, you back. And our man from Queens, who uh, is living in Brooklyn, our man DJ Vandal, our director. Woo! our resident artist who gives you those nice pieces that you're seeing in the bottom right-hand screen of your windows. And uh, we want to encourage you to join us in the conversation and uh, talk with us. If you're out there like Vinyl Fatigue is, like uh, Russell Sleepy Maynard, like our man Astro and a few others, you could throw us an alley-oop if you want us to talk about something. You got something on your mind. We will try to address that for you right here at the More Garbage at Podcast. the More Garbage Podcast. So what you been feeling lately in the music side of, of Mama Wana? You know what I'm saying? What's, what's been uh, holding you down overall um, on a personal yeah. listen level? I'll uh, make it mashups with like, like some really gangster hip hop and liquor. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. You do got some gangster. I mean, ones. like when, when you start playing like Biggie, so smooth liquid, you know, it's it, it definitely has a feeling to it. It's like a, <laughs> a, a, it's like a big contrast. It's a big. Like to get on a few people in our crew about the about the whole liquid thing. Right? Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Come on, bro. You know, because there's some there's some MCs and DJs out there that you know that forget that they're speakers. You know that there's this thing called bass, right? That there's this 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 thing called high energy, right? Everybody wants to be smooth and play for the ladies, right? You know, and uh, me personally, when I when I like the air drum and bass, I want it. I want them speakers thumping, right? I want to feel that shit, right? Like, look, it's cool. It's cool. I've been to I've been to full on drum and bass parties in the UK where it's like, you know what? It's not like a regular party or or anything that we would do in the states where it's multiple styles of music or you know couple rooms you might have a couple rooms but both those rooms got drum and bass going on and it's pumping right and so maybe one room is smooth and then they get going one direction and then the other room goes direction but man let me tell you man like some of the, you know, the liquid flow stuff, like the way I see the UK guys do it, that stuff's for the morning, for the chill out. Ah, oh, you wildin', bro. Yeah. Oh, man. 
No, no, no. Like, Listen, I man. mean, you can definitely like throw it under some like really hard stuff. So like, you know, like say more of the harder like drum and bass is like uh, kind of more in the mid range and whatnot. Yeah. You throw on like a deep liquid track under it. A, a, a different effect. Like, I mean, if you start listening to like my 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 sets, I kind of like have ADD on this. So I'll be throwing like okay. a jump up tune. I'll throw in like this really hard tune. I'll throw in like some Raga Jungle tune. I'll throw in like a deep liquid tune. And you know, like, so really all for of you, these it's things all beats. mashing up. For you, it it's all, it's just all beats, right? You just like to put it together because some people like to put themselves, you know, in a section like in a mm -hmm. row you know what i mean they're like nope i only play this like yeah i only play neurofunk i only play text yeah. i only play Actually. i only play jungle i only play drum up right like you know i only play liquid flow right uh, I had, uh david owen actually tell me he's like you don't give a shit about a genre yeah <laughs> <laughs> I like, you know, it what? Shit. if it's one step forward, as long as it matches up the beats, you know what I mean? The, you, you got the beat count right. You got the. Uh, you got the, the phrases right? matched, the bars matched yeah. and everything. You good. You good to go. You make the magic thousand. that way. You know what right. I mean? It right. Right. Exactly. It's called mixing a, for a reason. Well, oh, mix, you, you know, but this is the thing that everybody thinks they can mix. And not everybody can. There's few that can actually just do the wave and the ups, the roller coaster ride. Yes. But not everybody is really good at that. And it's a, it's a, it's a hard. Like you have to know your records. Like that's 100 percent what any DJ that wants to talk about being the masters of this. Make sure you know your records because absolutely. You don't, and you start trying to do anything with everything. That's exactly. I mean, like, a lot of right, right, you know, making sure everything is on point. So it's like, okay, you see me just throwing a bunch of tunes together, but but you know where they're gonna I mean, drop. You know, tunes, you've yeah. planned, you've planned I'll your, my you've planned your points routine. here and this and that. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Well, like, a lot of DJs out there, and I'm sorry to interrupt you, Trent, but a lot of sorry. DJs out there, like, just, just coming from something that's my wheelhouse, right? Like, you know what? You have two ways of doing this thing. If you have a routine, right, sit with your music, put those cue points in there, put those loop points in there, plan your routine if you want to do it that way, right? But if you want to play and you're already familiar with your music, take the stick with you, right? Sometimes the spontaneous can be just, just as good as prepping, right? But, but prepare then like, just be, play. be prepared to throw down, right? I mean, when I, when I play, I like to, I like to have like a couple of combinations. Okay. And and also, like, I'll have, like, my little one, two, three. I got these three planned, but, like, the next 30, I'm not going to. I'm just going to free step. Uh, it's funny because you don't like, you don't like do my the little double drops in the crib. I do both. I no, do wait both. a minute. I don't, like, strictly plan out my sets. Wait, I mean, wait, like, wait, if wait. I'm doing a mixtape. Yes. Can you play freestyle? Oh, actual freestyle? Actual no. freestyle. <laughs> I've never heard you play that. Like, I love that joint, yo. I think he's I think he's too the young. Actual freestyle. freestyle music. No, no, I I listened to freestyle. I just wasn't a freestyle DJ. Uh. I love freestyle. <laughs> I saw DJ Venom dropping some freestyle set. Like oh this, man, you know, yeah. Thing. Yeah, this was like, Trek, let me was find like, out you was ago. into freestyle. You was dude. over there listening to Coro I, and shit. I had a couple of Puerto Rican friends and, and some, you know, there was uh, Puerto Rican there friends. Was, uh, 
in, in the Lower East Side, there was the Boys Club in New York, and they also had a pool. And uh, the lifeguard was a Puerto Rican guy, so like you'd be in the life, uh, you know, you'd be in the pool just listening to freestyle music the listening entire time. To listening to Karina, <laughs> Karina and Coro and, yo. and all that watch TV and all that stuff, yo. <laughs> oh shit! All Shout that out to old Steve. school. Yo, shouts to my man Nate Ain't C in the place. What's up, Nate? Shout out, Nate. How you doing, yo, man? Yo, if y'all know any of those things, I want to do dub plates. <laughs> yeah, shoot. right. Over the jungle. What? Priest. Priest Get out the into the groove. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just throw in the mama wanna tune in right there. Like, yo, and mama wanna is for me. What? Holla to your boy. Tell me I would have dropped that. I know uh, I got that. I you gonna bust out the, uh, the drum and bass version of summertime, summertime. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. And yo, yo why is I it, gotta play the what? Yo, why is it that every freestyle track like that had a dude singing in it? What was the f listen, I I could tell you it's just like in rap. What's the very first word that comes out before any word of a verse comes out on a rap track? Yo. That's right. That's right. That's now racist thing. No, 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 no. No, it's just a, it's just look, no, that's I'm a just warm up. Too many that's a warm up kind thing. of erase that part of the song. <laughs> <laughs> you you right before you get on, like you hear the beat, you go, yo. Blah blah blah, <laughs> whatever, right? Like you know, it's gonna happen, right? But yo, what's oh, the first girl, now, yeah. now for freestyle? For freestyle, what's the first word when it is a male singer on a freestyle song? What's the very first word? Well, you're gonna have to tell me, bro. Girl. Oh. Every, free, every freestyle song, every freestyle song that I know. Oh. Starts with girl, you left me in the yeah, you you right, you right on that. You definitely right on that. Go back for those of you that are in the in the in the podcast that are listening right now. Go back and listen to any of your freestyle records. If you don't know what a freestyle record is, and you're too young, look it up. <laughs> oh man, give it. Go look up Lisa Lisa and Cult Jam. Go look up TKA. Oh. Come on, you can go. <laughs> The names right there. If, if, if somebody can get me in touch with Lisa Lisa, I want that Lisa Lisa dub plate. Holla at your homie. <laughs> I want to bring Lisa Lisa to 2020 COVID fucking drumming bass. Man, she is. This is awesome. how we do out here. Hell that yeah. Give me a Lisa Lisa dub plate, son. <laughs> I she got out here in Florida, too. Mate. What about Shannon? I got a, oh, oh, Shannon. Holla. Oh. Samantha Fox. <laughs> I gotta cut this out right now. Straight up. <laughs> we are <laughs> We're slowly oh, losing. We're slowly losing street cred. Yo. <laughs> my man my man's joke was so so bad that the video dropped out. <laughs> oh, God. We losing street cred with that freestyle conversation. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I, I, I played that that gang. Band None of those tracks are even that freestyle. That over, like, over like liquid. What though. are you talking about? Of course What did he are. just say? Come on. Get into the groove a freestyle. I want to have some fun, what? Samantha Foxy freestyle. What? You're right. Actually, what he's right. Talking about? He is right. He is right. Man Man came is out to like... <laughs> Damn, man, like, no, no, you didn't no, even say hello up. to me, but you came out here to correct me, though. <laughs> you don't even show me no love. The man came out to check my pronunciation and shit. <laughs> like, my old, my old school grammar teacher. That is not freestyle. That motherfucker, I graduated, and, bro. And <laughs> Oh shit, Vinyl Fatigue said Johnny O. We forgot Johnny, Johnny O. Oh, and little, little Susie, Susie. Judy, Judy Torres, Tor Lizette Mel Melendez. Goody, 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 <laughs> Do you want to come on, man? Get down with that right there, bro. Get down with that. 
She an uptown girl too, Lizette. Yo, you know what? You know what? I got fooled into liking a little bit of freestyle because I thought it was breaks. <laughs> I was like, yo, these beats go hard. Oh, rest in peace to the Weppa man. Weppa man died oh, yes. last week. Weppa man, R.I.P. Oh, no, the, the Weppa man died? The yeah. Weppa. You know that dude sound like one of my uncles. <laughs> uh, that that bugged me out. Yo, can we please play SLO I, like, I didn't know the way my man died. Fuck this dude fucking recorded. Do it. Yeah. Yo, does somebody have a German bass remix mm. of Weppa oh, Man? Of SLO Esa SLO Maybe IQ. Dale <laughs> That was one star. Don't start. Yo, but <laughs> that dude, that dude's really silent. He sounded like one of my uncles, though. Oh, so like for a while, it was bugging me out. I was thinking that was my uncle that was doing it. And I asked him, I was like, yo, man, so when since you got into house, he said, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yo, house yo, music. That- yeah, he was like, yo, listen to music in my house. I was like, oh, all right. Yo, man. yo my shit was aquí, ya quiero trago. Aquí, oh, aquí. you playing on all, all the joints. Come on, okay. cut this out. See, <laughs> that, 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 was, that was also like part of like my, my reason and why like I wanted to bring the Spanish music to German bass. We did it to like house. Mm-hmm. You know what Word. I mean? Word. So those Listen. Latin German uh Latin house, let me shout out to Latin German shout bass. out to all the listen, shout out to all the Latin producers out there that produce that Latin house music, man. That is, listen, some of that stuff has made my sets, right? If you don't come out with a little bit of something that has that, you know what I'm saying? It's got to be a little, you got to have a little spice to it, you know what I'm saying? A little we, spice, a little you know, sexiness had, to it. We add adobo to the shit, right? Yeah, <laughs> a, lot of, a, lot of good, a lot of good adobo, bro. You throw on some sazon on these beats. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all cut this out right now, man. Yeah, Y'all making me ugly late me, style. Like, seriously, that Latin flavor brought a lot to house music, and I could say that from being a house, house DJ. Well, right? that, so that's what I wanted to do with this. You know what I mean? It was like, let me represent my people. It was like, we got, a, we got people out here, and a lot of us are like, like, for instance, I stuck with Rocket Jungle because it, it stuck it stuck to roots, and I right, okay. I identify with these roots a lot more than like all the other music. You know what I mean? Okay. So I never called my I never like played myself to be like like a rock star. You know what I mean? So when I play, you know, I don't start going around screaming Ja Rasafari because <laughs> I feel disrespectful. You know what I mean? So yeah. let, me, let me let me give that respect to their culture and like. I mean, every, every rapper had a culture, had a I mean? reggae track on the album, right? In the late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. Everyone had the one but, like the the love jam, and then the club jam, and then like the raga jam. Oh yeah, you had to have one. Yeah. You had to have one. Right. Buster, 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 uh, Buster did the patois, and I was but like, you, "Damn, bro. Vulture!" But isn't that like Buster's uh, culture, though? You know yeah, I, mean? I know. It'll be like, I know. It'll be different for like Buster to do it than versus me. You know, me coming out being like faking Jamaican, like a Rasta. You're faking. You're faking. Yeah. Yo, Rasta I, always, pasta. I, always, I always tell people that, <laughs> I, I tell people that out here because you know what? Seriously, like, you know, people out here, they want, for some reason, they want me to come from Jamaica because I got dreads, right? So yeah. pe- people start telling me, hey, you know, I, I have been to Negron before. And I'm like, I haven't. But you want to know something that's really ironic? I'm like my grandmother. My grandmother is from Kingston, New York. My mother lives currently in Jamaica, New York. Queens. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yo, you know, the closest I've ever been to Jamaica is Flatbush Avenue, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, 
What a Guan, Jojo. <laughs> what a Guan, yo. You want to ride? Yeah. That got me here food. pulling out the classics, man. About this look, some food upon the tree. <laughs> yeah. Pick a food upon the tree. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's like, nah. Uh, I, I mean, it. some people like confuse the curls for like the dreads. They're like, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to grow dreads. It's just like, <laughs> I got these curls. You can see them from far. You know what I mean? It's all good. <laughs> you like, like, I don't gotta be looking like nobody else. <laughs> see, see, and see, and you see what I'm saying? It's, it's stuff like that that make me go, yo, yo, Hector. Whenever I'm on stage, just come on stage with me, because I already know what the deal's gonna be. I already Don't know what it's going. Come on with that. Hector is Dominican Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you ain't that far off. <laughs> Dominican Snoop Dogg will be Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> that would be your reggaeton name. Snoop Dogg. Oh, yeah. Nah, I, I, if I would have a, a reggaeton name, it would be Space Papi. <laughs> Face poppy, kill. Poppy. Kill. Track, track. You got any like you know? Aside from aside from T Nichols and to rule and conquer, and track. You got any other like you know names that we don't know about that like you know? My like, my house uh, name is Goose, man. Goose. Yeah, Goose. The house name is yeah. Goose. But you, you would you ever plan on using that on short, like short for like, mongoose really, but goose, yeah. Like on a like the bike? <laughs> uh probably more the more the, the road the rodent probably, yeah. The thing yeah. that looks like a ferret. Yeah, that sucker, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, MC Mongoose. MC, MC Mongoose. Mongoose. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, like, you know, old school families, they all have, like, these hidden nicknames. So well, everybody you know in my family has, like, a nickname. You know I got one of those. I got one of those. I used to be called Woogie Bird. Woogie Bird. Wow. Woogie Bird. Woogie Bird. Oh, I'm, I'm about to text Dre that right old. now. If I became, no, no, please don't. <laughs> Shout out to Gorilla Man Jones who's with us. Gorilla Man <laughs> Jones. About names. Gorilla Man. <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, that whole fa- I don't know, like, I think, like, today's families are too good for those, like, secret nicknames. Nobody really got those, you know what I mean? I don't know I anybody think, that got those. I mean, I like, it, 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 secret. I mean, the ones in my, my, like, family were, like, rather derogative when you really thought. They... Yeah, with a tone of provocative. Like my dad's, like my dad's name was uh, his, his his nick, which means the tick, because he was the smallest one. He was the youngest one out of yeah. that family. So it was like a tick is a parasite. It's a bloodsucker. <laughs> I mean, there's like there's so many like connotations. Are you trying to say he's like a bloodsucker because he's kind of like not that guy, you know? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, you yeah. know what? As a matter of fact, to that, if it, it was mongoose and it was also gooseberry, gooseberry is a fruit in Guyana, and it and me particularly, I it came with a family song that I won't repeat to y'all because that's a little too embarrassing. <laughs> But, you know, so, so you eat the you eat the goose fruit pan the tree. Yeah, gooseberry. Yeah, gooseberry as well. You yeah, pick that was the fun. gooseberry pan the tree, boy. <laughs> Where from you pick the gooseberry from the tree, boy? <laughs> I, I really tombo. wonder what the Spanish version of that uh, you know would have been. Oh man, yeah. Jumanji berry. <laughs> like being in the Caribbean, we we got similar fruits and, and, and vegetables. You know, what I mean. We're, or eating plants fry it differently. And Yo, you, you that's call what, it a platinum. That's what I've always call it this, you would call it that. That's what I've always wanted to ask, right? Now, like I've heard I've heard that 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 term used a lot in New York, right? For Dominicans. What term? Yeah. 
you know, it's my man, he's a platano, right? Like, is that derogatory yeah. or not? I don't know. I mean, Even with me being a, a native New Yorker, I don't know. I it's mean, like I can't West Indians speak. get sometimes get called like I guess derogative is coconuts for that, right? So it's sort of yeah. on the same level, probably, right? But there ain't a goddamn coconut in West India, is there? Yeah, Jamaica, West Indies, Jamaica, all right? oh, the Caribbean's full of coconuts. You got a Caribbean, really? remember I don't that? Know, yeah. Like- but you gotta remember, like racist people are stupid people. Yes, um, absolutely. So we just—you don't really gotta like worry about their logic too much. I mean, like me being called a platino, personally, I'm not Man, speaking no. on the whole shit, Dominican them shits race. Good, we bro. love them this shit. Good. Yeah, exactly. Shit we tastes love good, this bro. Stuff. This shit tastes delicious. We make more mango, more fungo. We make mango. this, we make that. Listen, yeah. we used to I go to the Popo spot, mango, bro. bro. Holy smokes. Shit. Oh, got it. Oh, we still got that going out here. Oh. Listen, I, I, I lived in Williamsburg, bro. And it was... It was... Dominican, Puerto Ricans, black folks. And, mm-hmm. and, and you know what? Food. And everybody hitting the Kuche Frite spot. And like, oh, oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, seriously, <laughs> I, you can live off of, you can live, <laughs> yo, seriously, you, you can live off of a fungo. You can live off of ri- uh, rice and greens, the Kuche Fritos, and a Maurice <laughs> Sognando. Like, seriously, like, you know, the the you know, hey, uh, shout out to the time. Shout out to all oh, the late night Kuche <laughs> Frito spots. Hell oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was IQ. IQ was the first person to put me on to uh, Acapulia, yo. Late night status. Acapulia. Was out. Yeah, man. Yeah. Put a little hot sauce Acapulia. on top. I was like, yo, what the so hell is dog? <laughs> Y'all got me so hungry. This is going to soak up all the chemicals you ingested tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Yo, Vinyl Fatigue, who you talking about, fam? Who's the Wookiee with dreads? Is it is it is it me or Hector? Man, what are you talking about, man? I'm calling you out. No. These ain't dreads, bro. Oh, oh God, I, no dreads. I just got beautiful. I'm the Wookiee. I'm guessing <laughs> talking about you, bro. Your track is dying oh, over there. Damn. <laughs> I lie here get ripped apart. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> it's like, don't be looking at me, shit. <laughs> oh man, listen, I am having too much fun, and you guys should be having a lot of fun here. The more garbage podcast you tune into, the more garbage podcast. My man Chewbacca Shout the Wookie up more. there. <laughs> we got we got Chewbacca the Wookie, Count Dracula, and, and uh, DJ Flo Joe. And uh, our man, the uh, the the Russian troll. <laughs> Farm, our man DJ J Vandal Geek. <laughs> Vandalski. Check out his restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, yo, look, listen, listen. Uh. What right now? What right now is the track? Whether it's the track that you play at work as a DJ, or a track that you listen to, because you know what? Obviously, all the music that you listen to, because you seem like to be a kind of eclectic guy when it comes to music, right? So, with all the music that you listen to, what inspires you most? What what track will you pull out and play on repeat, constantly? Whether um, it's a track from work or a track outside of outside of the scene. Okay. So when I was DJing with uh, DJ Big Ears doing the Big Wanna thing. Shout out to Big Ears. Uh, we would have each. Yeah, shout out to Big Ears. That's the bomb. Um, when we would play, there'd be three tracks. Double drop with a vocal track. Then it was like I would do double uh, double drops in my house so I could play, you know, like, just like a hip hop MC over like you know some like dope track. And right now, 
And shout out to track. I actually went in and cleaned up every hip hop vocal track. Well, just about every clean, uh, hip hop vocal track that I have. I cleaned it up. If I couldn't find a clean version, I had to clean it up myself. Uh, Why are you playing clean versions? Because everybody club. clean nowadays, bro. I mean, well, like, FCC not for nothing, like the Brooklyn it. Zoo version, like the, the, the explicit version sounds a lot better than the clean version. Mm. Get I got dirty it. with it. So depending on my my venue, where right. I can do, I can get a way with it. Um, the one that I'm looking to do is just about the... Uh, called uh, Body in the tr- uh, Catch a Body and Benny L's Thunder Slap. No, oh, okay. it's okay. Intensity. Ben- That's hard. Benny L's yeah, oh, I'm going to catch a body if I pop the drum. I'm going to catch a body. If- and I just played over some like really disgusting like drum and bass. You know what I mean? It's like I'm going to give it this New York flavor. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, shit ain't sweet out here. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I love like, you say that, man. It makes me think of it, it, old, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, your sneakers are going home with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> track. What's a, what's, what's the, the, what's the track the fact that, that you're going home keep... in your socks, too? Track. What's the track that you would keep on repeat now, outside of uh, outside of work music, or maybe it is a track from from work, or maybe it's your own stuff. Who knows? But you mean like something current or something I just like in general? Something that you like that you rock to that just that just brings you up. Jesse Gladstone says Anderson Pock come down. He can put on repeat all day. Oh. I mean, it's got to be uh, something like Devil's Pie by Primo or something. I could rock that. Man, Almost. I love that bass line. Yeah. That's a very do 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 Jesse Gladstone vibes. Yo, I don't oh. understand a goddamn word that Pedro is saying in there. Oh, you chopping up again, Hector. It's supposed to sound sexy. That's it. Mm-hmm. Not one of my favorite tunes that I've ever had. One of my favorite dubs is a tune that Track and Hired Gun did. Ah. He did a back to theme song. I mean, like, it was like a, a dub plate that I did back in 2013. My man, yeah, that was a fun guy. time. Yeah, he wasn't feeling too much the drum and bass scene. He did this thing in the hip hop scene, but like, you know, since he, it was doing it for me, it's like, yeah, I get on that track. So, like, I, I that was that one. That That's my superhero theme song. If I ever did wrestling. Yeah, I mean, like talking in rhythms. For some of you who may have never caught a Mama want to sit, then you need to go out and catch the man, or maybe catch him on one of his live streams. You might hear one or two of those records pop up. That's the whole love for dope play culture. Everything feels brand new every time. So. Yeah, that's that was an absolute fun with me and uh, me and shots to hire gun. One of these days we got to get him on here as well. And uh, that was a fun time over at the studio for that one. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. It was on the fly, too. It wasn't like we came in super prepared. We were like, yo, what are you doing? (laughs) Yo, what are you doing? And we were just like, all right, let's just smash him up. And then we took our time, and then (laughs) like I trust both of you. Do your thing. Yeah. Like make magic. With a whole, with a, well, I think we had like a big bottle like of Mama Water next to like tell you. Oh, hell yeah. That was part of the payment, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I paid you a little paper and I paid you in the bottle of Mama Water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, nobody was going to turn that down for that time, brother. Hell no. Surge, Mr. DJ uh, Vandal. Uh, yeah. Inspirational track for you. 
What is an inspirational track for um, you, Big sir? Daddy Kane, set it yeah. off. Oh, yes. Let it roll, get bold. Let's just, just get, get bold, back and forth, because I'm a man with soul. In control and effects of what, so the, what heck, the heck rock, rock this disco <laughs> tech. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I y'all was talking about that other tune. Set it off on the left, y'all. Y'all set it off oh, on the right, right y'all. Right, that could get played a hundred times too, dog. Yo, that <laughs> shit was that shit was kind of bubbly. I used to love. Somebody that. needs to make the Jummy Babes verse. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. On the left, on the right, on the left, on the right. No, no, no. We be too. No, no, no. I just got that just... that that Tom's diner. Somebody did a good job on that. I got the drum and bass version. Yeah. Um, I got that. Uh, is that Crystal Waters? No. no. Somebody I, did it really I, I good. It. Somebody did it really Crystal. good. Suzanne Vega. Is- yeah, that is Suzanne Vega. Tom's Dinah, Susan Vega? Yep. It's version yep. Two. Yeah, somebody, a needed, of, like, somebody need to do Tom Tom Club. House. Mm. You know that. Don't get me started on here. Don't get me started. We got <laughs> latency, man. That shit didn't even sound right, probably going through the feed, making us trying to make beats on here. <laughs> Everybody sound like we uh we uh just not, not without rhythm. You know what? That's one of those things. That, you know what? I, I I should be careful what I say, right? But I've been to some places where uh, you know, let's say maybe uh, there's a lack of. Uh, how do you describe it? Um, diversity? Yes. Diversity. Yes, yes. Let's put it that way. <laughs> diversity in the place, right? Where, you know, maybe maybe I'm the only one that's adding the diversity to the place, right? <laughs> and the amount of <laughs> rhythm, that. the amount of rhythm that is there or lack thereof is astounding. Like I've seen like, you know, people, you know, like listening to, I don't know, like, you know, the message do 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 right and they're going like I'm like, yo, what are it's they two listening things to, to that, though. There's right? two things to that, man. Um, people who don't go out and party are now learning how to party <coughs> in those situations because they're pretty much caught up in whatever professional or whatever work or whatever. It, you can almost put that with somebody even like, you know, that's, you know, from, from, from the bottom like us and they can't dance either. It's all over the place, bro. It's all, you know, there was a moment where you could have said, all right, you know, just, you know, now it's everywhere. There's no you know, way to get around is, it. Dance is supposed to be, I guess, your interpretation of what you feel for the music. But some, have you ever wondered what the hell is going on in some people's heads? What, Dance, you know what, it, what they think is dancing? Uh-huh, dudes, a lot of dudes thought they was Travolta and was imitating Travolta on. Hey, they not even was, do that, man. Hey, he was live, but they lost that battle. <laughs> I can't even front. Yo, all right, on, all right. On that Saturday, how do you feel, Hector? <laughs> Who won the battle in Saturday Night Live? Was it John Travolta and his girl, or that other, that uh, that them two, them two Latinos? They won that shit. I'm gonna say the audience won. The high road. The high road. Oh, you ain't see Saturday My, Night Live. You might not be old enough. The whole thing is. Excuse me, I got the the soundtrack on vinyl. Oh, I'll shit. let you boy. Um, 
I'm a drum and bass version of Knife Fever. You know what I mean? I keep it old school. Hey, hey, hey. Do the drum and bass version of Knife Fever then. Have Andy give <laughs> Andy give to that shit. Most, more, I mean, most of my stuff is a storage room. Space I had before this, uh, I was in a studio apartment, and I turned that into one bedroom with just him. Yeah. I had. Yeah. Think about that. That's yeah. a wall and, and a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, silly man. I'm, I'm by my vinyl culture. Like the only, the, my, the only tattoo I have right now is a record over my heart. A word? Okay. Because I the whole CDJ thing back in like 2015. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. yeah. You know this is a debate oh. that we could get into for a long time, right? Oh, I'm not even gonna oh, get Lord. into the baby because. Uh, my back appreciates the USB key uh, more yes. than uh, the milk crate on my shoulder. Mine too. Mine too. I've done right. it. Don't get me wrong. I still got, got the. You yeah, see it right I here. It. Yeah. You see it right here behind you, man. I got the vinyl mm-hmm. still, but you know what? Mm-hmm. When people say, oh, we're doing an all vinyl set, I'm like, hey, great. Have fun. Right? <laughs> does not give a shit and that's being exactly. generous exactly you know what there's a few people that might know the difference between what gear you're using whether it's a controller or cdjs or turntables and of course they might know the turntables if they're at a certain age otherwise they don't know they just know that guy with the headphones on is a dj i have headphones too so I know he's a DJ yeah, he, or something. He's <laughs> plugging the iPod and nobody's gonna give a shit. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you like, still gotta make. You're looking blend. at some of these DJs yeah. with no outs out. You Actually, no, you don't, sir. And we have seen a number of Facebook videos, right? And I'm not talking about that one on the television station and that European thing where you could clearly see nothing is plugged in. They didn't even. Go as far as to put the the power cables in the back yeah, of the device. They didn't care. They didn't give two rats ass. But mm. there's 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 a video. There's a really famous viral video of like Paris Hilton DJing at one of these festival things, and the fader. There's only one fader bouncing. Right. We all know what a four channel mixer looks like, and if you're mixing two tracks, two faders are bouncing. Right. Right. So. There's one fader bouncing, and it's from a mix. Mm. And she's touching all kinds of stuff as if she's doing, you know, micro adjustments to the mixer and and stuff mm-hmm. like that, but she's not even playing. Well, playing uh, this festival in Acapulco, Mexico. And uh, one of the DJs, not exactly going to give too many details about this person. We'll just say, this DJ didn't know how to DJ. And uh, apparently was more ready for tractor or not for CDJs. So you ever see the, uh, the picture of the guy under Paris Hilton? Yes. You know, actually changing yes, the mix? I- yeah, I, I I did that in Alcapulco. <laughs> you That's did that for somebody. Yeah, hey, listen, listen, Paris Hilton. Dude. If you're out there, I'm sure you're not listening to more garbage podcasts. But if you need a ghost DJ to be under the decks for you, I'll do it for five thousand bucks a gig. No problem. Yeah, no problem. I, I, I do it for nice two thousand dollars in a burrito. Come on, don't try to undercut so- me, Hector. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think what Latino's here for? <laughs> this, this is my promo slot, bro. My promo slot. If you out there I mean, and you need a, 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 a DJs that want to be good DJs, I will send you mixes and you can put your name on it. Okay? You send yeah. me the right you send me the right price. Yeah. And, 
<laughs> yeah, JoJo. Fill in the uh, mix. He'll let you put it, and he'll even pretend that you're, like you're his friend. So, exactly. Uh, I'll be like, yo, that was a dope mix, yo. I bought your last mix. It was so dope. It was so good, right? You know that that, that you can get all of that for the extra two fifty. <laughs> yo, check this out. It can't even be as bad as yo. It can't even be as bad as being a ghost writer, right? That's like if true. you write a song for somebody, or you're like you know the you know the ghost musician. You wrote the music for somebody. Why can't you just go ahead and mix for somebody else? Right? They don't have the skill set that maybe you or I or somebody else does. But they want to be out there, right? If they're willing to pay that dollar. I mean, it's bad on them because if they get exposed, they get exposed. You're not the one that gets exposed. Like, the guys that, like, like the Millie Vanilli situation. You remember that? Oh, hell yeah. All those people were getting played. That whole camp was so deep. It was deeper than Millie Vanilli at the end of it all. Yeah, one of those poor guys. Girl, you know suicide. it's true. Yeah. Yo, he kind of looked like you, Hector. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? The light skin one? <laughs> I think both of them were light skinned. They were really light skinned. Now, what was dark skin? They were German. They what were German. German. <laughs> Sir, look up Robinson. More light skinned one. Now, one of them. One of them had that Trump. That Trump spray on tan. They had that spray on tent. It was gave them bad thoughts in their head. Yeah, but That's think about it. they were like, "Yo, let's take let's take these cool guys with the dreads." But like, you know what? They can't sing, so let's get the, get the other guys. That haunted them, though, man. That haunted them for a long time, man. That's really messed up. I mean, yeah, it haunted one more than the other because he, oh, yeah, definitely he that that part stick around. Yeah, that yeah. part was tragic because he got exposed to a point where, like, you know, I guess he must have felt bad about it, like, you know. But I mean, can't walk the streets, man. After selling millions, and they would—they didn't even get any real money from that. That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> the label walked away with it. Everybody, they? even the ghost singers, got burnt. Everybody got burnt on that. Oh, there's Damn. Robin Fab right there in the bottom. Look, see, look, the the one on the left is definitely. Oh shoot, cousin, that is spray. A, a, definitely a cousin to Hector. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, my man. Okay. Yo, you but you're right about the spray oh, though. Good. That's a See, spray I on them. Like this, oh this, yeah, he's this blend of different cultures, so like no one knows what the fuck I am. Actually, I, uh, I Wait, met go. one of my favorite lead singers. Huh? Go to the after pictures, like Serge. Go to the after pictures of Robin <laughs> Fab, though. They like, know after like, pictures really of Robin not. Fab. <laughs> 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 them dudes. <Yeah. laughs> Yo, look at, look at, look at, yo, the dude on the right. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. What, man? Yo, what oh, is that? What is to our new section of the more <laughs> called that? Please take a look at the bottom right-hand screen. We have the combination of what happens when Rob and Fab have a baby and Drake is the the, the uncle. <laughs> well, yo, yo, that, my man Jamie wants us to give a shout to his man David Bain. So big salute to David Bain in the house, whatever it is. Must be a birthday cat. Should I give a Bain shout out? Yo, seriously, if I was Batman, yo, I would be, I would be fucked up. Like, if I, if you had to listen to both of them, like, at a dinner table, or if you're at a club and you're trying to talk Batman and Bane. One of them's like, you're like, what, motherfucker? <laughs> I would just agree. 
I think he said, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I mean, with him, it, it'd probably, like, maybe a bottle will show up or not. I was just like, yeah, 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 your word. You know what he said? No, no, no. No, we just brought him something because he looked mean as hell with that mask on. Yeah, he looked mean as hell. Like, I ain't trying to get jumped at this party. Uh, <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of words. Yo, so, you need a straw? <laughs> back, back in the day, um... Like, uh, me and my homies, we was just chilling on this corner, you know, it was like a group of us, and this dude from the neighborhood comes up, he's like, yo, you know, I promote, and, uh, we'll, we'll just say the ABC Club. So, uh, my man's like, yo, I promote at the ABC Club, and, uh, you know, it'd be great for, you know, the guys to come out, you know, so I'll put all of you guys on the list, no doubt. All right, cool. Yeah, you guys can bring in whatever the fuck you got in your pockets right now, you know, and nobody's going to say nothing. All right, cool. That's yeah. crazy. Oh, a week later, shows up. We get to the club. We at the front door. It's like, yeah, you got to get pat down. you my security now. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm your security now? Okay, sure, no doubt. So... What does the dude, what's the first thing the dude does? He goes to somebody else's table and he drinks uh, somebody else's drink. Oh, damn. Oh, the damn. owner of the drink stands up and looks at the dude. He's like, yo, what the fuck you doing? And the nice. guy looks at me and I'm walking away. I'm like, oh, that's your problem, not mine. Peace. <laughs> right now, we got a whole lot of people that just cascaded into the, the Facebook a troll the, station, bro. You know, seriously, we got like we got like sixty eight people up in here. Somebody in the, said the Mackie G tour. Y'all can cut it out, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, big shout out to everybody who's jumped in the chat room. I don't know where everybody came from, but we're glad that you're here. Welcome to the More Garbage Podcast. I'm your boy Jojo. Down there in Florida, we got my man T.R.A.C. And our special guest, Hector Mamawana. And down there in the bottom right hand of your screen, our director, the mastermind behind the More Garbage podcast, our man DJ Vandal, that's with us. And big ups to everybody that's with us. Aubrey Smith, that's with us. Alexander Howell, we got uh, Brennan Eggleton with us. Michael Bergavut. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Yo. Right. Matthew Standen, Jono Lloyd. Shout out to New Zealand. Rocketor, <laughs> knock, Rocket or Knock It with, is with us. Austin, we got a lot of people that are uh, jumped in with us in this podcast. And so uh, big ups and shout outs to all y'all that have jumped we in. We are a total. Conversation with us here. In yeah, the conversation. we 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 talk to junglers. We talk to everybody, but we we, we talk to junglers. I'm we letting down to people who want some drum and bass. Check it out because we want to chop it. So. Make it Ooh, out to My God, your spot one day. That's a uh, eight sides territory. Bro. Shout out to my man eight sides. He out there. Yeah, hey, shout out to everybody out out there. You know what I mean. Uh, yeah, we're very grateful for this uh, for this onslaught of people that have just jumped in right when a lot of us were planning on doing some things. But I guess we'll uh, chit chat a little bit more since you've jumped in and the chat room is popping right now. So big up. So to each so morning. we got my man Mama Juana in the building right quick, and uh, since we on this DMV tip, I want to ask Mama Juana what is. How do you feel about drum and bass in New York City thus far? What kind of question is that? All right. Um, it's a good question. It's a decent That's question. a goddamn yeah, softball. Question. Don't let them fuck with you. Don't let them <laughs> fuck with your journalistic integrity. 
Let the man uh, answer the question. How about that? <laughs> right? I ain't even scared of that question. That's a beautiful question because I love my community. You know what I mean? My yeah. uh, New York City drum and bass community has been there for me in ways that I don't want to get deep into right now. But, like, the way they got my back, I got theirs. You know what I mean? That's why our, our, our poly community uh, uh, created this DJ streams. This is why I'm always streaming. You know what I mean? I'm always telling people, yo, if you need to talk, holla at me, bro. We don't even got to talk about this whole nonsense that's going on. Let's just let's bullshit. You know what I mean? Shit. Yeah, man. It's crazy out here. Crazy. Brother, crazy. You know what I mean? It's like this whole scene it, it, it's been a beautiful thing. I see a lot of these people sticking up for each other. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people have helped me start this DJ stream thing because we're here for our community. All we're right. locked down. We're a lot of us. We got this stir craziness, but all of these DJ sets is giving the people a sense of normalcy, a sense of direction. It's like, you know what I mean? Sure, I you can't go out and listen to your favorite DJ, but your favorite DJ is playing in your house and you getting to chill. Your favorite I mean, DJ is playing in your house. Know how deep that is right now. Have you gotten any uh, good feedback from people on the side with this COVID situation? Nobody can go out, you know, and uh, have I've some fun. I've converted a few people to drum and bass. I've made a couple of people fans of mine. Um, I've had a couple of DJs tell me that this gives them a sense of direction because now I give them a place where they can put their music on. You know what I mean? I don't have, like, you know, like a lot of other groups have, like, you know, certain times for certain DJs to play. It's like, yo, whenever you want to play, play. Share it on my site. There's no time slots. Do your thing. Mm. Spread your love. You know what I mean? That's how so, I like, feel about my show. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's been beautiful. Like, it's become its own community where, like, people could ask questions and other people will answer and it's not even like me being directly involved. That's you know, it's like it, it, it's become its own organic thing. And like I keep repeating, you know, like my community's been there. I need to be there for my community. You know what I mean? It's like mm. if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be in the position I'm at. So I got to adapt. I got to show them love in whatever way I can. And if I can't do it out in like, you know, some club, then I do it for my crib. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I spread the love like one set to, uh, at a time, you know? Like I'm you getting all these copyright infringement violations, whatever. Man, You're going to sue me for my five drink tickets? <laughs> you know what? Seriously, like, you know what? <laughs> Good luck taking that blood from the stone. That's what I've always said, too. Like, I got nothing to lose in this game either, right? Like, I've supported a lot of people as well. And one of the things I take pride in is like, yo, this shit right here, these yeah. decks, these decks have brought me loads and loads of pleasure for, damn, I guess, you know, close to 30 years now, right? Like, you know, so for me to share this with somebody, because this is fun, right? This is fun. First and foremost, is fun. Secondly, if you get good at it, just like if you get good at hooping, first and foremost, yo, try doing this because you might really, you know, that's that's always been my that's that's been my whole thing, right? Playing music, going out and and listening to music, and all sorts of music. Hip hop, drum and bass, house music, techno, you know, you name it, right? That's always brought me a whole lot of pleasure. And that's something, that's the same pleasure I want to share with other people too. Yeah. You know, like, you know, all kinds of music. And that's why, that's why, like, I'm glad we're able to do a podcast like this where we can actually bring all of these different kinds of cultures together. And, you know, not only but, just music, but everything that's in the periphery and everything that's within our lifestyles. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. Ah, man. Yeah, we should wrap this up, y'all. Let's wrap this up. 
I you think guys, it is about that time. We've been yeah. talking for a really, really long time. We got a whole lot of people that wow. have been with us in the chat room. Big shout out to that avalanche of people that just joined us in the last minute of the More Garbage podcast. You got damn trolls. to all of this you. Is going like it is. <laughs> I'll play drum and bass later. You we all do drum and bass here. Yeah, we all do drum and bass here. I mean, like, if you want, you can check my channel on YouTube. Uh, just search for Hector Mamawana. Mamawana. Uh, you can search yes, for my sir. DJ page, DJ Hector Mamawana on Facebook. I'm regular Hector Mamawana on my regular profile. Everything's public. Uh, if you just Google my name, H-E-C-T-O-R-M-A-M-A-J-U-A-N-A. And you'll find me. That, that's even my Gmail. Hey, Yo, hey, I'm, I'm here for you. We appreciate we appreciate having you on here. And uh, like the fella said, right, um, all of us appreciate what you're doing. Yes, right, sir. What you're doing for the Absolutely scene and carrying the torch for the drum and bass thing. And not only that, waving your own flag and being you, right? That's something that I'm all about. That's something that I'm all about. And from what I've what I've heard from just this interview and being able to chop it up with you alone, I uh, you know, I'm looking forward to 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 sipping one of them mama waters with you. You know what I'm saying? When I hit New York. <laughs> one of these days, brother. Oh yeah, man. Uh, I'm looking forward my to brother that. who made this this thing. Keep the hustle. Yes, sir. Oh Keep yes. Keep that sir. hustle up. Keep that hustle up. Like, I'm out here, you know what I mean? I'm here for my people. I'm here for my sound. I'm That's here for right. my city. You know That's what I mean? right. Whatever I can do, as much as I can do, until That's I can't right. do anymore, you know what I mean? Thank you for having me. I really appreciate this. Yeah, man, this is some fun to have, bro. We definitely yeah, appreciate bro. you, and... uh Big ups once again to everybody that's joined us on behalf of my co-host T.R.A.C. Uh, and my man DJ Vandal who has uh, hooked you up with the lovely, beautiful artworks Jungle that thing. you see our director. My name is DJ Jojo and uh, thanks to everybody that's been listening. Uh, this has been the More Garbage podcast thanks to each and every Hector. one of you like and share this we gonna see y'all soon Vandal you got anything to say before we say peace <laughs> catch us tomorrow night okay. for another episode of yes. more garbage and Friday night for the hooky party that's right, y'all. We got a whole lot of content coming out there. And don't forget to check out digitalconfusionmusic.com, uh, facebook.com slash digitalconfusiontv, yes, twitch tv uh, slash digitalconfusion tv, twitter, digicon tv, and all those other places. Like it, follow us, share it. Thanks for watching. We out of here from the More Garbage Podcast. Peace. Peace.